it's time for Python on Hardware. Yay, Blinka, Blinka, Blinka. There is so much going on in the world of Python on Hardware. Oh, Happy nice New graphic. Year. Yep, it's Blinka. Blinka snaking its way to 2020. It's <laughs> um, CircuitPython was founded on the idea of its Code Plus community. So there's so many things happening that it made sense to start doing some stats. Okay. So You love stats. Well, it's good if, you're, if everyone's working smart together, it's always good to celebrate stats that we do together. Yeah. And these are ones that are important to some folks. Like, oh, how many um, posts did I do about CircuitPython? How many uh, libraries are out there? How many contributors do we uh, have? Yeah, I'm going to commit. And, yeah, and I, think, I think now that we've been through this a few times with different platforms, different programming languages, different microcontrollers, there's indicators that something's going to be successful if you keep track of things and look at trajectories. So mm. let's talk about some of the numbers this year. Okay. There are over 205 open source libraries in CircuitPython. Correct. And that's the batteries included. That's the thing that a lot of people can immediately start doing their projects yeah. with. We kind of kicked it off with a, a dozen, 200. So we have about as many as we have Arduino libraries written. Every new sensor and device we come out with, we also have a CircuitPython library. And yep. we got lots of displays, internet connectivity stuff. It's all really good. Yep. And of course, a lot of them work on Blinka as well. And that's how you know we have 200, because Blink is like, look, I got 200 here. Hi, hi. Okay, another one. Um, stars on GitHub. It's it's a vanity thing, because people, they, they, they just, it they just click it. Yeah. You know, it doesn't translate to money. It doesn't, there's but, no, but people say, yeah, this yeah. is this is a repository that I like. This is something that, that I appreciate as someone who consumes code or contributes to code. So 1,500 stars, and that's been hockey sticking okay, out for a while. That's another, that's another stat. That's right. Uh, humans on the Discord server, uh, 15,618. It's a lot of humans. Posts on Instagram with... Pound Circuit Python, 1,413. Okay. Average monthly views on Instagram TV for the Python on Hardware Weekly video, this one right here, yeah. 3,800 uh, views. Wow. That's a lot of people. Um, community meetings uh, where we have a video or a podcast, over 116. Every Monday, we do a community meeting and we have a video and audio recording. Yeah. And then we put it into all the different podcast services. We get 116 of those. You can start from the beginning all the way up till now when we started doing it and you can see the evolution the arc of all the things that go into an open source programming language built by a community for a community it's cool it's a lot of work yeah it's you good can, work you're you like hey gonna do bluetooth soon to all the way look at all this bluetooth stuff correct all right slow and steady next up um forum posts in forums.adafruit.com over 6972 community members on circuit python reddit we just hit 700. 700. Yay. So 700 thanks to everyone over at Reddit who does circuit Python related things and Python on hardware. Um, we also have micro Python stuff in there as well. Um, products on Adafruit.com that are circuit Python related in some way, 2,400. Circuit Python boards, it's now up to 95, but we even have a new little download counter for, oh. uh, so, sorry, board counter. Yes, that shows the search. number of That says the number of boards. Right, so if you're looking for like how many internet connected boards or how many display connected boards. Yeah, well, we have 94 all together. Okay. Sorry, 95, because we have the top secret board that we're going to show tonight. Yes. Okay, um, here's the cool number about uh, What's this. the coolest number? Here's the coolest number. So over half of the boards that are on circuitpython.org are not from Adafruit. Wait, I heard, I don't see who said it, but I heard that majority of the boards not true were Adafruit that that's a most lie. of them were Adafruit no in fact that is a measure of success if you have more boards from the ecosystem than your own boards you're doing something oh. successful so you're saying there's more boards from other people not Adafruit than from us there's more boards from other companies and other people than Adafruit for like Circuit one Python. more or like 10 more well I'm glad you asked at least 10 more okay yeah so right. uh, about 40 from Adafruit and about 55 from wow. everybody else together. I was proved wrong. Yeah. Well, you already knew the answer to that. This is banter that they do on shows. Look, I, yeah. I got to keep it exciting here. Yeah, we rehearsed this right before we get on. We did not rehearse it. <laughs> I know. It's um, live. Yeah. Okay, what else Sorry. What else we got? So I think I got that right. 54? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number of uh, Circuit Python guides on learn.adafruit.com, 238 guides with over 1,962 pages. Circuit Python videos on YouTube, over 495. CircuitPython tagged videos on YouTube, over 220. Videos in the Python on Hardware video series, this is this, over 61. This is interesting. The number one video on YouTube related to CircuitPython is from Andreas, and it's called Time to Say Goodbye to Arduino and Go on the oh, MicroPython. Oh, yeah, that had like 200 views. Adafruit CircuitPython, 
485,000, and now it's Andre's number one video. Really? Wow, oh, half a million views? Yep. That's a lot. Newsletters. Subscribers to the Python newsletter. Uh, big news, and we'll talk about that next week. Over 7,000 subscribers. 7,000. I, I have a graphic. Yeah, you wanted to hit that. Yeah. Newsletter shipped in 2019, it was 52, and total so far 152 if you go to adafruit.com, uh, sorry, Adafruit Daily, and you can check out all of them. Blog post on adafruit.com with CircuitPython, 1,217, and I also linked up some Google Trends there. Wow, so there's a lot of stats. There's a lot of stats. Um, stick around for the top secret portion of the show, or get it as a separate video, because we're going to be talking about the clue board. This is our new microbit shaped board that runs CircuitPython. It's... All the things you always wanted a micro bit and more. Talk about that soon. Lego just released their uh, Lego EV3 program in Python. We talked about it's it, but it wasn't live. Yeah. Now it's live. You can now use your EV3 brick to unleash the power of Python programming. Use MicroPython. Simply install the EV3 MicroPython image on any SD card and boot up your EV3 brick to start programming right away. Kind of cool, because like one, it's running Python 1.9. Yeah. And yeah, it's MicroPython. Micro they, the yeah. Lego decided this was the way to go. Okay, um, if you haven't seen it, check out the recap from Tested where they review Circuit Playground and Good talk like a bunch about Circuit Python. Um, we have a couple of guides that just came out. Um, Circuit Python, Libraries in Jupyter Notebook. This is a sleeper hit, I think, for a lot of the things that uh, our lady has been working on. Um, you can interact with sensors in real time, interactive Jupyter Notebooks, and Circuit Python libraries on any computer with MCP22221, uh, especially two, 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 helped out with that. Yeah. Um, also, been tuning into the Twitters. And one of the cool things is a lot of people are saying the things that when we first started to do this, we're like, oh, this is so cool because you can do so so easy. And we're starting to see tweets and more um, where people get this, and this is from Instant Arcade. I have to say, I'm really impressed with Adafruit boards. I haven't gotten to them recently. Circuit Python is a game changer for rapid development, and the Adafruit offerings just keep getting better and better. Here's another example. Um, if you want to program on the go, you use Python on the go, this is the Serpente. Yeah, I told you right This in. is an iPad. And you can, they, this tweet says it better than we could. My mobile development on embedded systems with CircuitPython using iOS makes a lot of fun thanks to Serpente from Arturo. So this is a board we don't make. And so this is an ecosystem that's forming around all the goodness that you can do with Python and CircuitPython and Python. So hardware. much goodness. Next up. Um, What's that? This parent had a dollhouse and the dollhouse didn't have a light. So they made a CircuitPython circuit playground powered Oh, that's nice. Light for dollhouse. Okay, uh, this is a pew pew. This is from uh, Deshi Poo. You can sign up on Tindy. The pew pew M4 prototypes. It's looking good. Are going to be out soon. Got buttons. Yeah. Got like a little buzzer there. Got a nice screen. The case. 36C3 Chaos Communication Congress 2019 is out. We posted a link to all the videos and more. And of course, there's some Python on her. This is a. Uh, uh, untitled Goose. Um, it honks. It goes honk, honk. You probably hear in the background there. Yeah, um, this is kind of nice. This is FOMU. This is the tiniest circuit python possible. It fits into the USB. It's so <laughs> tiny yeah. and it's running on an FPGA inside your USB port. And uh, yeah, they're using teeny USB for the USB bootloader. Yep. And uh, they also got circuit python running in it. So it's neat. This is a circuit python powered hoodie. This is an unofficial 36C3 badge using a feather and circuit python. I like python. that kind of like shape. It's kind of a yeah. rounded shape. Uh, I believe Drew posted this up from Osh Park and more. This is uh, Flex After Dark and 0.88 millimeter purple versions of the Blinka PCB design by Deshi Poo. There was a session there. You can use MicroPython to hack these cool like key lamps and Yeah. More. Look at that. There's a MicroPython that in the background. Yeah. MicroPython on everything. Yeah, I thought that was cool. And then... Um, Cedar Grove is working on this thermal camera project. Um, lots of progress with that, so you can uh, see. Yeah, they're doing it in, in CircuitPython, huh? Yeah. Here is uh, from Steam Tokyo. They have amazing graphics. They did the CircuitPython book, Japanese edition, and uh, they have a ton of cool graphics that go with it, so I wanted to add that to the roundup of news. Um, I'll add more because they have a New Year's graphic now with uh, Chica Lori and also Circuit Playground. Our very own Phil B made a Krampus snow globe where um, the fleas fall. It's, down. it's dirt, yeah, yeah, the dirt and ashes of the of the children that yeah. he eats or something. I don't know. This is from uh, the meetup that was recently. So this is the Israel. Yeah, this is the Israel the Tel Aviv meetup. Um, Circuit Python meetup. They did uh, a simple uh, project to show how to play tunes from Circuit Python, including Jingle Bells 
and Hanukkah songs. And uh, they emailed too. They said over half the attendees are women. So that's great. That's this is what's happening with this Python on hardware. It's bringing it's great together. for workshops. You can get started yep. so fast. This is a circuit Python based globe. You shake it up. Oh, rubber that's rubber. a nice little globe. Yeah, and there you go. Oh, okay. This is the New York. Uh, sorry, the New York, <laughs> the, the New Year's Eve dress. That this can't go New York. Did. Yeah, look, I, th- I saw the New York skyline. I thought. Yeah. And uh, here's a cityscape. Close-up. Yeah, and here's a close-up. That's nice. I like yeah, the it, like. I like how not all the lights are on. It's kind of like yeah, like a real cityscape. This is a badge. Yeah. That Kevin made for Amy D. And it's like a Tamagotchi it's a badge. Tamagotchi, right? and this yeah. Is a circuit Python power. It's a dog. That dog looks kind of weird and sad. Here <laughs> is a lightsaber that has the holiday colors of Christmas. All right. Cool for neopixeling. Sabering or. Neopixeling. Here is some um, live streaming through a um, uh, socket to show what's going on. This is this like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or USB? I think it's USB. Yeah. Okay. And this is um, another example of how you can use this very cool component, this product that Lady Ada made, where you can kind of just hack anything and start. Yeah. This is this stuff. is neat. This is an FT232H, and they used um, Circuit Python. They used because yep. they compu- connected their computer, and it's like, how do you do GPIO toggling to make this like little Santa dance thing? It was a very simple, you know, bit bang protocol, but like, you know, it's very hard to do GPIO from a computer without uh, a little hardware addition. So that's why I like the FT232H and the MCP2221 because it's like they're low cost. And if you're a native Python programmer, you like Python, you don't have to ha- get a microcontroller involved. And also for stuff like timings like this, where you're just, you have to tweak the numbers constantly, it just makes the iteration cycle much faster. Yep. And from Mr. Beast in Discord, this is the Android version of Blue Fruit Playground. Yay! <coughs> it looks yeah. They got we gave them the assets and they're they're basically yep. porting the code over um, to Android. Yeah, no, so our app Blue Fruit Playground has not even been out a month yet, so it's exciting to see already community member cooking up an Android version for all the Android users out there. And that's Python on hardware news this week. Yay, Blinka.